people today we're going to be doing another valentine's set the last one of the season um these i did on my own nails obviously so let's get started um i'll tell you right now just ignore my cuticles i really trashed them badly this time okay we're going to use this lily cute thread gel of course it's purple that i'm using and it, it was very very thick i, I think I don't remember it being that thick when I swatched it, so I think it's just because it's cold. But we're gonna start off with the first coat. Um, th these nails took me four hours to do in total, just in case you wanted to know. Now I'm extremely mad at myself about these because when I did the second coat of this polish, I forgot to hit record, and that was the best. That was gonna be the best part of the video to see how I did the swirly design on here. So I will just tell you while we're watching this. Um, when we put the second coat on after this is cured, and before you cure it, I took a dotting tool, the one that had the, the smallest, uh, finest point, and then I just put that on there. I used that to draw like concentric circles, or just a circle, like without lifting it up, I just kept going around in circles and moving all over the nail. Uh, and that's how I got this whirly pattern in there. Now you could do any pattern you want. I mean, you could do stripes, flowers, and in hindsight, I was thinking, why didn't I do little hearts? That would have been cute. But anyway, you'll see the result. There's the result. That's what they look like when they were, after I cured them, after I did the swirly stuff, then I cured them. Now I'm going in with the thin layer of top coat because we're going to be stamping on them and I wanted them to be perfectly smooth for that. They're not really bumpy and the, the you can sort of kind of feel the little grooves from the, the swirly part, but not, not that much. But I just thought it would be easier for the stamping if I smoothed it out in case I had to wipe anything off, which I ended up having to do on some of them. But thin layer of top coat. We're going to cure that. And now we, oh no we haven't yet. Just cleaning up my top coat mess that I've gotten all over me. And they're curing and done curing. We're moving on. Okay this is a Born Pretty stamping plate. There's the number. And I'm going to be using this Battenberg lace pattern. I'm also using uh, stamping gel, not regular stamping polish, which I haven't really used that that much. So there's a little bit of a learning curve. I'm just gonna smear it on here. The one good thing I did find with is I did not have to clean my stamping plate off in between each stamp since it's not drying or curing, just sitting there like that. Um, it, I could just add a little more on top and then uh, smooth it out again. Now I started off trying to do this the, the way I normally do, but frankly, since it's not drying, it just stays wet. It didn't really want to pick up on my uh, scraper, the excess stuff around the edges. So I ended up getting a Q-tip with some alcohol to clean that stuff off. And we're going to start off on the pinky. I'm going to give it a stamp on the whole nail. I don't know why I did the swirly bit on the pinky because it's not going to show up at all, but it was fun to do anyway. And there's how that looks. I like this pattern a lot. It came out really nice. Um, on the topic of that thread gel, though, that I used for the base color, I also have one in a pale blue and I got a white one. Uh, the white one has kind of an Aurora kind of feel to it. Like if you look at it from different angles, you'll get different color, like just hints of different color with it. Anyways, moving on. I'll be doing something with those at some point, but, and hopefully I remember to record the, whatever I put in there for the pattern. But anyways, on the rest of these, okay, not the ring finger, we're going to skip that one, but the rest of them, 
are going to have a lace French. So I'm going to stamp this on sideways and then I'm going to get alcohol on my cleanup brush and I'm just going to go in and swipe out the smile line. Um, this was another uh, good way uh, that I, I liked the uh, gel stamping polish because it's not going to, it's going to stay wet, which makes it easier to swipe off like that. See, there we go. Now we have a stamped French. If I could get it in shot, there you go. Now in that lighting that you guys are seeing it, it looks, it looks cool and it's, it's uh, looking good. But in regular everyday lighting, you can't see them very well. They don't show up that much. And oh, FYI, I did flash each finger in between the stamping of them because I was afraid since it stays wet that I was going to bump it and ruin them. So I did flash them. When I get done with this next one, then I'll give them the full cure on that hand. And this is the last one I'm going to show for this. That was really easy. I wasn't sure it was going to work, but I'm glad it did. Now if I had used regular stamping polish, which you could totally do for this part, um, you'll have to use acetone to do the swiping part and it, and it will be dry when you're going to do that so it's going to take a little more to get it cleaned off. And also what I liked about this uh, gel stamping polish is the white is, is very um, very pigmented so it gives you a nice crisp white on there as the the regular stamping polish that I have that's white it's kind of on the thinner side so if you're putting it on a darker color it kind of doesn't it doesn't give you a nice white it kind of it's thin so it kind of shows through the other color but there's where I am so far I'm gonna cure those I'll do the rest off camera now we're moving on these are this is the mold I used for the little hearts uh, it's from 3d nail I got that at, off Aliexpress uh, along with that thread gel polish and they had a lot of other well not a lot but they had a few other colors of the thread gel but I did not get the rest of them I looked at that stuff for probably over a year I kept seeing it in there and I kept looking at it and looking at it and I finally decided you know what I'm gonna try this and see and and lo and behold it actually worked like it looked like on the on the thing so it's surprising sometimes with the the uh, products on Alley like the, the the products like polishes and whatnot um, you sometimes you're getting them really cheap and sometimes you know that you get what you pay for situation they don't but things like charms and that kind of stuff yeah no problem they're way cheaper on there you can find all kinds of them stickers decals so that's my go-to for that okay now I've cured that for two minutes on the one side I flipped it upside down cured this for another 90 seconds and now we're taking them out they pop right out and we have our little hearts the bigger ones are going to go on the thumbs and these little or smaller ones on the rest of them and I'm going to make more of these off camera till I get a few and now we're ready to glue them on now in hindsight I'm wishing that I had done these in like maybe two to three shades darker of a purple for these little hearts because they really don't show up all that well um, just in general now I, I made uh, a few extras of these because I, I just know I'm probably going to get them caught on something and pull some of them off and this one was really not wanting to work it was not letting me get a hold of it and now it's upside down again okay I'm just putting them on along the smile line kind of off to one side but not all the way over to the edge and being that they have that little curvy bit at the bottom I was trying to have that kind of go along the same curve as the where the smile line is I'm not entirely being successful right here I just didn't want to cooperate And I want to make sure I've got it pressed down into the glue really well. Then I will cure those for 90 seconds. 
And unfortunately, you guys are having to look at my offhand because I forgot to hit record once again when I glued them on the first hand. This one, I just could not seem to get it where I wanted it. Okay, now we're curing it. Okay, and here's what they look like on the other side. And then I'm going to use that same polish that I made the hearts with. And we're going to just do some quick little dots along the smile line. Uh, some bigger ones next to the the heart. A couple of those and then we'll just make them uh, smaller and smaller as we get out to the edge. But this also, if this was a, you know two three shades darker because this doesn't show up at all really. I think that would have been better. And I will flip over the dotting tool and use the little tiny one. That little tiny one there is the one I used to do the swirly lines in the base polish. It kind of gave it a almost a brushed metal uh, effect, I think. And there we go with the little dots. You see, you can barely see them. But the idea in my head looked cool, but uh, my choice of color is not so much on this one. Okay, I've got these two. I happen to have these two purple hearts. Now I have drilled them out with my e-file on the back to give it a little bit of a curved back. And then we're going to use those light ones and the darker purple crystals too. And of course, there'll be silver caviar beads. All right. There's my big hand in the way. I thought I edited all that part out. I don't know where my brain has been all week. I've been making stupid errors on stuff all this whole week. Okay, this I'm putting kind of a lot of glue on here because this is the one that the, the big heart's going to go on. Now I've drilled that out on the back so it will lay a little flatter on my nail. I mean it still sticks up but not as much as it would have. But once I'm happy with the placement, I will cure this for 90 seconds. And I was going to do crystals and stuff all around the heart, the big heart. But for once in my life I decided to edit myself and just leave the heart by itself on there. I did try some on around there just like laying them on there and I just was not liking the way it looked so less is more in that case and the rest of these we're gonna just do a very simple cuff at the top on the pinky there's just gonna be three and on the other ones there'll be five and I'm starting off with the darker one in the center and then alternating to the lighter ones on either side and in the case of the five row one and then they'll be darker on the outside of that. You'll see on the next one. I really like how that lace pattern came out on my pinkies. I'm going to have to come up with a, another design I can do with that. And the silver caviar beads, of course. I've been using uh, this tiny dotting tool for picking them up lately. It seems to be working better for me than the, the brush that I was using a lot of the time. I think because this has got a finer point and it's small enough that I could get them into smaller places without too much mess. Okay, and I have flashed that pinky nail. I'm flashing each one of these in between again just so they don't go moving around while I'm doing the other ones. And this is, as I said, with the dark in the middle, then two lights on either side or a light on either side and then a dark in the, on the end of the row again. 
This is the last one I'm going to show, and then after that I'll do the rest off camera. This was the most con time consuming part of the whole uh, project, was the doing the crystals. But I think now that I've done these and I know how things go, I think uh, I could knock these out much faster. Now I've used the tiniest caviar beads for the last one here and the, the end bits. But the ones closer to the center, then I've got the next size up on the bee, caviar beads. That one did not want to come off. And then the other guy on the end has fallen down into a little the little gap between um where my where my poly gel ends and where my finger is. There's a little gap right in there. Gotta add a little more glue to my tip of this so I can get it out of there. Yeah, that's a spot I should have probably filled that in before I started this, but oh well. Okay, these are the next size up that I'm going to be using. You can see some that have spilled out there on, on the mat. And they're going to go along the, the center one on both sides because that's a bigger crystal. Okay, and then we will move them around and get everything lined up the way we want, we want it. And make sure when you're doing this kind of stuff, if you got something that needs to be centered, you look at it like from this angle and look at it flat down too. Because when I have my hand flat out and I'm putting stuff on there and I think it looks centered that way, when you turn your hand up and look at it this way, um, very often what looks centered the other way is not centered at all. So uh, just check it both ways before you cure it. And once I get these uh, moved around to where I'm happy, I will cure that. And then I will do the rest of them off camera. And now we're almost done. I'm giving them a quick uh, thin coat of top coat. It's a tempered top coat just to clean up any gluey mess that I've got going around there. And also I'm going to top over those little hearts. And I will continue to wipe around there with, with my brush dried off a bit to get excess top off of there so it's not pooling up around there. I'm hoping this is going to help keep the hearts on there better because inevitably I will get them caught on something and possibly knock them off. That's why I make extra now. I learned my lesson with that. And we're curing those and there we are. Voila! All done. Hearts and lace. Although you can't see the lace very well. It's there. You guys saw me put it on. Uh, if you like this set, please give me a like. I really appreciate it. And if you want to see more, I upload a new tutorial every Saturday. So we go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And hopefully, well, I don't know what I'm going to do for the next set, but it, it definitely will not be Valentine's. But what it is, I don't know yet. So stay tuned and find out. Okay, and there's our ending shot. And that's it for this week, guys. Have a good Valentine's Day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.